morning, West Rutland. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance, led by National Honor Society members Ryan Skaza, Grayson Skaza, and Emily Chippenair. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm Izzy Griffith. And I'm Brady Travers. And this is Westside Daily with your morning announcements. This Friday, we have a half day. Next week on the 8th, there is a career cafe for 9th through 11th graders. The focus will be on business and marketing. It will be a cafe-style setup with guests having a table for their items. There will be two 55-minute rounds, each comprising of around 27 students. The format will be 25 to 30 minutes of guests presenting themselves to the entire group, followed by 25 to 30 minutes of the students circulating the tables for more informational discussions and Q&A. Everyone will be required to visit every table. The first group will be called down 15 minutes into block three, and the second group will be called down during the beginning of block four. A more specific schedule will be coming soon. West Rutland's K-12 Winter Concert is on December 7th at 6 p.m. The 7th and 8th grade holiday fundraiser is still going on. If you're interested in purchasing something, find a middle schooler to help you out. Now, now to Nicole and Sawyer with sports. Good morning. Allie Mitchell is looking for volunteers from 8.15 to 8.30 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the weight room. The girls and boys JV basketball have conditioning at 3 o'clock and the 7 and 8 boys and girls basketball have practice at 4 o'clock. The girls 5-6 basketball also have practice at 5.15 and later at 5.30. The JV girls basketball will have practice and the boys will have it at 7. That's it for sports. Back to you, Zine Brady. We Thanks, Sawyer and Nicole. Today's lunch is barbecue chicken filet on a whole green bun with macaroni and tuna salad and baby carrots. Today is National Electronic Greetings Day. Now to Aubrey and Lillian with our special news. This Saturday, December 3rd, the high school course will be singing at 5.30 for the tree lighting at the town hall. We hope to see you all there. Seniors, don't forget that you are helping to decorate the town hall on Thursday. On Tuesday before break, Mr. Dolphy's 8th grade tech class competed in a trebuchet launch. For multiple weeks, 8th graders have been building trebuchets, which are medieval catapults. They competed in many different competitions. They got points for having the cheapest one to build, the fastest one to launch, most accurate launches, and the furthest launch. Peter Guay and Max D. Domenico won both the cheapest to build competition at $606, as well as the furthest launch at 17 feet and 11 inches. Caleb Kelly and Joey McCurrier had the fastest launches in 30 seconds with 21 launches. <laughs> <laughs> Paige Barkey and Sadie McGee had the most accurate launches. Paige and Sadie won overall competition. <laughs> Great job to them. district results came in. Meredith Roki was accepted into the district orchestra on cello. Larissa Silverson was accepted into the district band on flute. Torn D. Domenico was accepted into the district band on trumpet. And lastly, Max D. Domenico was accepted into the district band on the baritone saxophone. Both Max and Torn were accepted into the district jazz band on their respective instruments. Congratulations to you all. If you have someone in mind for our next interview, make sure you put in your votes in the box in the lobby. That's all for special news. Back to you, Izzy and Brady. <laughs> Thanks, Aubrey and Lillian. For now, for the joke of the day. Why was the spider such a good programmer? I don't know. Because it knows all about the web. Now to Bella with the weather in this day in history. 
Good morning. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 42 and a low of 32. Tomorrow we will see some rain with a high of 54 and a low of 33. On this day in history in 1972, Nolan Bushnell released Pong, the first successful video game in Andy Capp's t- ter- tavern in Sunnyvale, California. Back to Izzy and Brady. Thanks, Bella. Reminder that as we approach December, there will be snow. All elementary students must bring snow gear. Christmas break is right around the corner. Only 24 days left. Today's birthdays are Ava Stevens and Brooklyn O'Neill in third grade. Thanks for watching. This is Izzy Griffith and Brady Travers signing off. And as Mr. Slanker would say, have have a a great great day day of learning. learning.